Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's a staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moving! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moving! You! You! You with the hammer? And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out in Rhodes. Come on, get in. Open the gate. Come on, Milliken. I tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. You aren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. Books. Personally, I'm against education. With women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary. Doesn't add much to the world. Education. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools, and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, Cleve. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Wendt, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was. Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. Now, sir, how about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. It's not much of an animal, but they haven't got far to ride. Yeah, I waited on them moving you some weeks. I can wait a while longer. Ready? Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. I don't care if you kill the whole lot of us. And the Braithwaites. I don't want to kill anyone. I love her, you know. Love who? Penelope. But it's impossible. Well, love tends to be complicated. She's a Braithwaite. I'm Bo Gray. Son of Tavish Gray, nephew of Lee Gray, the sheriff, grandson of old Murdo Gray. We Grays have been loyal to the state and murderers to the Braithwaites for so long now, no one can even quite explain why. Beyond blind loyalty and stupidity, I'm supposed to be loyal to some nonsense while she... She's amazing. She's like a woman from the future. She's like tomorrow. If tomorrow turns out fine. Well, I'm sorry for your predicament. Would you help? I don't want to get involved in <laughs> gang feuds. It seems unseemly. I'll pay. I've got money. We Grays, we've always got money. No brains mine, but money. Well, in that case... I know she loves to sit out in the gazebo on the edge of the Braithwaite property. Take her this letter and this bracelet, please.
you Penelope Braithwaite? Well, yes, I am. I've got a letter for you. Oh. And a gift. <laughs> a letter and a gift. Well, we don't even know each other. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it's not from me. It's from... Uh... From Bo. <gasps> oh, he is so... Strange. <laughs> yes, he's a little strange, but also so human. The rest of our families are stuck in the dark ages or... Well, I don't know, cave people, perhaps. Bo's different. But if they find out, they'll kill him and send me to live someplace awful like Ohio. Have you ever been to Ohio, sir? No. Well, neither have I, but my uncle has a factory there. He was sort of the black sheep on account of having left. But now they tolerate him because he's a vicious snob. Families are, are, there's something else. Hmm. You got a family, sir? No, not really. They can't stand. That sounds pretty complicated. I, I don't know quite what to say. Well, nothing to say, except I hope they all rot. I don't, uh, well, maybe a bit. But here, if you see Bo again, will you give this to him? You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. Mount up, all right. And follow me to Rhodes. Come on! Come on! Yeah! We'll go around the property and take the road to town. Easy, boy. Calm down. I 
I can't be calm. If we don't get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. I, I want to marry a flesh and blood woman. Not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Know that. Do something, please. What? Fight this mountain. We must begin. Leave me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. But today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. of the Banker Road, Mr. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun. Maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. Better to do. You always were. Bo, weren't we just leaving? <laughs> Who the hell is this? Follow me. Hit me? Oh, 
come on. Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and Penelope said... Uh, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. Well, Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. It's awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will. As soon as I have enough money, when my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes. Well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Oh, here. Your payment. Thank you. Excuse me. Anxious to meet you. <clears throat> Madam, we're back. 
Hello. Jessica Leclerc, how do you do? What did you tell him? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, <laughs> not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Holy, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there, alongside a few other items you might need, a lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. That looks more comfortable. Hawley? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see... You walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. You were rounded up and sentenced to death, all because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, and my former best friend. Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. Leclerc would like to help you get back on your feet. Get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Then, Hawley, go introduce him to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! <clears throat> Get up! Oh, hello, partner. Hawley? <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps, at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. Leclerc is a generous benefactor. And, uh, where are we headed? Sir, 
While Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Gentlemen. Dutch, Lepo. Where have you been? Orkin. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make Drink? sure? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn? When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott Why not? you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? For God's sake, so it's not.
get out of here. Get him on the horse and let's go. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. So, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip off. So now I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so. But you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you? 
talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it. As long as you ride with us. <laughs> I got a serious medical condition. <laughs> yes, you are a compulsive liar. Uh, no need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed.
the bounce. Yeah, I'll deal with you later. We got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got coal on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it. Come on, get out of here. Every man split up. Come on, run quick. Good luck, Johnson. Stay quiet and move. <laughs>